welcome to gc ready technologies software testing job responsibilities see software test lead or test manager software tester or software test engineer job responsibilities see overall software testing job responsibilities in this video i am going to explain overall software testing job responsibilities lead and team members on uh, job responsibilities may vary from one company to another and one project to another same they may vary from one company to another and one project to another here i am explaining testing job responsibilities in general orientation and by considering industry standards okay and one more thing software testing can be done in two methods one is manual testing another is automation testing or automated testing if you follow manual testing uh, these are the responsibilities if you follow automation testing other responsibilities responsibilities some vary see test design test execution reporting defects tracking defects regression testing uh, edit, uh what is the term updating testing resources maintaining testing resources etc all are common tasks but manual testing job responsibilities vary from automation testing job responsibilities but you first to follow manual testing job responsibilities then you can easily understand automation testing job responsibilities and one more thing in automation testing job responsibilities uh, again different types are there suppose if it is functional test automation one type of responsibilities if it is performance test automation another type of responsibilities etc okay say uh, software testing job responsibilities in general orientation by considering industry standards see first one say here uh, i may follow i may not follow uh, some sequence little bit try to understand say first one understanding and analyzing software requirements say software requirement is the source for software testing suppose if it is informal testing that time uh, lack of documentation or no documentation without documentation you can test some software uh, that is informal testing ad hoc testing see using exploratory testing techniques or uh, error guessing techniques Now, using experience-based test design techniques, you can test uh, software applications informally. But we are discussing about formal testing. For formal testing, requirements is the source. Requirements is the source for software testing. First, understanding and analyzing software requirements. after understanding risk analysis say test lead or test manager designations depends on companies uh, test lead or test manager analysis the risk along with all team members after risk analysis uh, test strategy implementation actually test strategy uh, test strategy explains how to test your software applications it is company actually it is company level document how to conduct functional testing how to conduct performance testing how to do security testing like uh, for, uh, like rules and uh, guidelines see uh, our test lead or test manager implements company test strategy to our current project suppose for our current project only functional testing and uh, 
security testing, usability testing required. Test lead implements these three test types from company test strategy document. For another project, performance strategy required. That project test lead implements performance test strategy for that project. Suppose uh, for our project, uh, we are going to conduct functional testing, uh, security testing, and usability testing. Our test lead implements company test strategy uh, for our project. Next, after implementing test strategy for our current project, uh, means test strategy defines how to test. Uh, next, uh, understanding uh, 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 requirements requirements tell what to test test strategy tells how to test next based on uh, these uh, based on these concepts uh, test estimations test lead or test management uh, prepares test estimations based on requirements and strategy next after that test team formation See before test plan, test see test team formation, test planning. First team formation. After team formation only test plan documentation. See in test plan documentation you can find uh, roles and responsibilities of all team members. So team formation is first. Planning is next. Uh, see test team formation. Test plan documentation. Next, configuration management planning. See, uh, some in some companies, uh, part of test plan documentation, uh, configuration management planning also uh, they conduct. What is configuration management planning? See, uh, planning configurable items. Planning, see, uh, creating, storing, and managing all configurable items in our test environment. See, what documents we create and what documents we use for software testing, all are configurable items. Suppose test plan is configur configurable item. Test case documents, defect reports, test metric reports, etc. See, <clears throat> creating, storing, and managing, if required, updating all configurable items is called configuration management. Next, creating RTM, requirements traceability metrics document. See, after understanding requirements, test lead uh, prepares, uh, test lead creates requirements traceability document, RTM. RTM uh, is mapping requirements with test cases. Mapping requirements with test cases. Nowadays, mapping uh, defects also with test cases. Requirements versus test cases versus uh, defects. Mapping requirements with test cases so that uh, we can identify all requirements are covered or not. Uh, any duplicate test cases are there or not like. Next, uh, test lead only creates requirement traceability metrics document. All team members all testing team members, test engineers or testers, uh, designations depends on companies. All team members can update the RTM throughout the life cycle. Uh, okay, next, derive test scenarios from requirements. Next, after deriving positive and negative test scenarios, documenting test cases. See, for documenting test cases, uh, some companies use some test management tools. Uh, suppose ALM, Application Lifecycle Management, formerly Quality Center, suppose Jira, uh, etc. Test management tools available. 
if we use any test management tool uh, then test management tool provides test case template using the template you can prepare your test cases suppose you are not following any if you are not using any test management tool you can use excel uh, test uh, test uh, case template your company prescribed uh, test case template in excel sheet you prepare your test case say you can prepare or you can create or you can document your test cases using test using a test management tool or using excel sheet based on your company test environment after documenting test cases uh, update requirements traceability matrix update rtm uh, map requirements with test cases next collect test data see some test cases require test data not all some test cases not require test data see collect test data for all required test cases next define test environment setup see generally test lead defines test environment setup test lead knows what to install for test environment what to install he can find the details in software requirements document test lead defines test environment setup testers or team members verify test environment next uh, before verification one more thing is there implementing test environment see defining by test lead uh, technical support people tech support people implement test environment they know how to install next testers or team members verify test environment see three steps define test environment by test lead implement test environment by tech support people verify test environment by testers or team members after test environment verification uh, if test environment is okay then you can start execution okay uh, after test environment setup uh, create test batches next execute or run run test cases or execute test cases both are synonyms uh, after executing test cases if you find any defects reporting defects after uh, receiving uh, new build tracking defects collect test metrics collect test metrics suppose uh, how many uh, test cases executed how many defects raised how many uh, defects fixed in cycle 1 like uh, metrics reporting collect test metrics it is best practice it is not mandatory document but best practice next select test cases for regression testing suppose after receiving after receiving the modified build you need to collect you need to conduct regression testing regression testing nothing but change related testing okay uh, before conducting change related testing first select test cases for change related testing or regression testing next execute or run regression tests next modify test cases if required next guidance to team members uh, this is test lead activity test lead guides team members next test monitoring this is also test lead or test manager activity uh, designations depends on your company uh, test monitoring monitoring the testing process test control controlling the test process by test lead only say suppose uh, while monitoring if you find any uh, issues then uh, uh, figure out the issues control the test execution process control the testing process 
See, test control. That is action by test lead. Next, interact with interact with client side people. Sometimes we, uh, our team, test team need to interact with uh, client side people for clarifications or processing client queries. Next, uh, at the end, evaluate the exit criteria. Suppose uh, after final regression, evaluate exit criteria. If you meet exit criteria, then you can stop testing. Uh, after evaluating exit criteria, preparing test summary report. See, summarizing all testing activities. Summary, test summary report is a document. Next, send test deliverables to customer. Test deliverables. What software and hardware we use for testing? What documents we produce for testing? All are commander deliverables. Send test deliverables to customer. Why? Customer need to conduct acceptance testing. Customer are customer side people. Next, at the end, test cycle closure. See, uh, these are the important responsibilities of software testing. See, uh, here, uh, important documents, test documents. See, requirements document, that is not test document, that is input for our testing. Uh, requirement specification document, design documents, prototype screens if available. All are screenshots, uh, prototype screens, design documents, uh, requirement specification document, all are input for our testing. Next, why, uh, during testing, uh, we team members uh, create requirement traceability matrix document, test plan document, test case documents, one or more, test data, next, uh, defect reports, test metric reports, test summary report, etc. See, this is the uh, video for software testing job responsibilities. For example, if it is automation testing, already I told we have different types of automation testing. Uh, functional test automation, performance test automation, uh, security test, security test automation manually you can conduct, mobile test automation, API test automation, etc. Depends on your test type, your responsibilities may vary. Thank you.